everybody. Wait, I don't think my volume's all the way up. There we go. Everybody, welcome. It's Amber Chef Dina here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. It is dinner time in the Bailey house, so we are going to get started cooking. So, I feel like the lipstick is a little messed up. A little messed up? Okay. So, hi, Rosa. How are you? Thank you for joining. Um, so, today we're going to do um, a healthy meal. Hi, Mama Dawn. Um, uh, your friend Michelle's coming over in a little while, actually, so uh, I'll tell her that you said hi. <laughs> she'll be here in a little while. Maybe she'll join us live. You never know. Um, so today we're going to do um, a little bit of a healthy meal today. Hi, Kathy. What? Yes, okay. Um, hi, John. So today, hi, John. Hello, John. John. Hi, hi, Ken. Uh, I feel like you said, hope, tell Terry that we said hi when, uh, when Terry comes home. So today we're going to be making cauliflower rice with chicken and beans. So we're going to have, um, be careful, Brie. So we're going to be a very, very healthy meal tonight, okay? So this is how we're going to do all of this stuff. I have the rock crock out. So if you guys never saw the rock crock in action before, I'm going to show you how to do the rock crock on top of the stove. Um, don't forget also, wait, don't do that yet, wait. Um, the rock rub goes all over the place. It goes in my microwave, it goes on my stove, it goes in my oven, it goes in my broiler, it goes in my, uh, I said oven? A barbecue, it goes in my dishwasher. So I like the fact that I'm only gonna have like one pot. Obviously I have a lot of stuff out now. Do you like the lipstick mom and I don't know, I feel like it's a little, it's a little dark. Maybe because it's daytime and it's kind of dark, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna probably wear this on Friday, so if you like it, I'll wear it again on Friday. Um, so, um, obviously I have a lot of stuff out because I'm doing like prepping and stuff, but I like the fact that when I cook dinner, I kind of only have one pot, which is normally my rock rock. So I love that. Um, so are you guys ready to get cooking? Let's get cooking. So I'm going to show you a couple of really fun things here. Okay. Okay. So right here already, I have some fried cauliflower rice. I shredded up already. And I'm going to show you two different ways that we could do this. So I feel like it's a lot easier to do it myself rather than buying the store bought stuff. First of all, it's extremely expensive to buy the store bought stuff. And the way I do it is extremely easy and I can always freeze the stuff that I have left over. So I do it two ways. I could do it one in my manual food prep, which you can see is dirty because I already started it. And the other way is with our veggie strip. So you could do it two ways. So I'm going to show you both ways to do it, okay? So Brielle's going to do it on the veggie strip maker. So he'll point it over to Brielle. Oopsie, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Brielle. So I'm going to point it over to Brielle. I'm going to give Brielle the bowl. So she's going to do it that way. So all she's going to do is just Mom, grate can you it. hold it for me? Yeah, see, look. The, the veggie strip maker has a little notch right here. So you kind of just lay that on top of your bowl. Okay. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it and you're just gonna go back and forth, okay? So now you're gonna make rice that way and it comes out just the same, very, very fine. And every once in a while you just turn it. So then you turn it and then you do the next side. That's marker. <laughs> Would you do color on yourself? This isn't. Okay, keep going. Well, look, you got, look, she got marker on my cauliflower. Ha! Huh. Go wash your hands. Mm -hmm. All right, the next way we're gonna show you is I'm um, doing it in my manual food prep. Okay, so here's my manual food prep. It has blades that are kind of like scattered. So I'm just gonna put some in there. I'm just gonna chop up whatever cauliflower I have here. Um, you can kind of do big chunks. Did you use all that already? Okay, wait, I was gonna use that. Hold on, you had your piece. So we, I just like these. Don't talk about that, I'll kill you. Okay, so I have my cauliflower in here. I have my manual food prep. And all I'm gonna do, it up and down, and I'm gonna make cauliflower with my rice. Let's see. How's it look? Why is that one not working? So I got that one trapped in there somehow. Don't be ahead of me. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that out. So now I have cauliflower fried rice. See, isn't that pretty? And it's really, really simple. What is that? That's tomato sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna put that with my bowl. Okay. Okay, so now this is dishwasher safe, which we I'll love. Um, when you put it in the dishwasher, I'm just gonna ask that you just do a couple things. The whole thing is dishwasher safe. So you put the whole thing in there. The top part is not, 
So I just ask that you kind of wipe that down. You guys can see me. You just wipe this part down. You don't want to get really water in here, but this can go in the dishwasher. So when you put in the dishwasher, just put in the dishwasher inverted just like this. This way when you go in to grab anything, it's not going to cut you because these blades are extremely sharp, okay? So all, everything goes dishwasher and just make sure that everything dries um, nicely. Okay, so this is all going to go in my sink for right now. I'm going to wash that later. Okay, so rock crack time. So we're gonna go over travel to the stove. I'm gonna bring my rock crock with me and we'll talk about the rock crock at the stove. Please don't fall. Okay. So let's see if I could turn you. Okay. So here's my rock crock. I'm gonna turn it on medium, oops, medium to medium high. Oops, if I can get my stove to stay on. There you go. Okay. Now I have my heat on. I have my cauliflower right here. Cauliflower right here. And this is my kitchen spritzer, which if you had Pam, I want you to go in the cabinet and I want you to throw it out. And I want you to get the kitchen spritzer. You put your own oil in, basically just pump it up and down like I'm doing. If you guys can see, it might be a glare, I'm not sure. Um, you're, it, now what I'm doing is I'm putting my own air into it. So I'm putting my own propellant in here. And then I'm just gonna spray my pan with oil. Can you see my nice little mist? So that should be more than enough oil. And then I'm just gonna put my cauliflower inside my pan, my rock crock. So again, my rock crock is um, a multi-use vessel. It goes all over the place. Um, I love the fact that it stays hot for a really, really long time. I love the fact that it is a dishwasher safe. So I can put this in the dishwasher when I am all done, okay? Um, I make cakes in here in nine minutes in my microwave. I do. I really do. I make lava cakes in here. I do a 30 minute chicken in here all the time. Um, I do 15 minute fajitas. My rock rock is definitely a magical pot. I make meatloaf in like, what is it, 15 minutes in the microwave, I, I believe. My, my rock rock is definitely completely magical. So I'm going to do right now is I'm going to leave this alone for a few minutes. I wanted to get a little toasty brown. I'm gonna go back over to my prep station because we're gonna cut up some onions. Okay, so this is how I cut up my onions. I personally cannot stand cutting up onions. It just bothers me. But I have the food chopper and I absolutely love the food chopper for a lot of reasons. I already cut up um, all my peppers in like five seconds in my food chopper. Totally love that. Um, I just took out all the seeds and I chopped up a whole bunch of, um, of green, green peppers. So I love that. So now we're gonna cut up some onions because I can't stand cutting up onions. Your silicone base is your cutting board. So I ask that you use that, this way you don't dull your knives on your, your top or your cutting boards. And also this becomes your cutting board, so kind of just pour everything in. I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second, so watch. So here's my onion right here. We're gonna put it on top of my cutting board and I'm just gonna, uh -oh. okay. I'm just gonna pound the crap out of it. And the more you pound at your husband or the kids, the harder you pound. And I want like kind of like a fine chop. Okay, that might be good. I need a bowl. I probably put in the same bowl. Okay. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like. Okay, so now I have a really fine chop. Oh, uh, you're not eating chips right now. I'm making you dinner. Are you crazy? Okay, so now watch again. you pump up and down the more times um, the finer your chop is okay so you can cut so many different things with this you can cut obviously onions carrots celery onions apples, apples. yeah I guess you can do apples too. Um, apples and everything that stays on your cutting board which is this and then it's just easy to transport and this whole thing comes uh, comes completely apart for your dishwasher so you take that off you take this off you open this up and you place it nicely in your dishwasher so everything gets nice, uh, clean. And I love the fact that, again, I just throw this all in my dishwasher and I don't have to worry about anything. But this also cuts up nuts. You could do like parsley if you wanted to, but I have something else for parsley, which I'm gonna show you right now, because I love it. Okay. I'm just stirring up my cauliflower, making sure. Okay. 
not burning. Okay, so I did the same thing like I said with my peppers, and now I have my onions. Miss, I'm missing a little while, aren't I, Miss? Missy girl? Okay, um, I have two cans of black beans, and I drain them in my little measuring colander, which I love. Yes, um, everyone's egg cooker came in, um, and I'm, I've been, people have been picking them up this whole day. So um, I cannot wait for you guys to get your egg cookers and um, use them and love them just the way I love them. But I love this because this is, um, it drains so nicely. It has little holes in it. This is great for like berries and stuff like that. So I have two cans of black beans. I'm going to use that aside. I have some tomato sauce, tomato tomato sauce that I'm going to put in in a little while. And all I did was I just cut up some chicken and I just cubed it. And that's, that's all I did. Oh, hi, Jordan. Hello. And I'm going to use some fresh garlic, okay, which we're going to do that in a second. Let's travel over um, to my pan. Don't touch that yet. To my pan. Let's go see what we got going on over here. Okay. Okay, so here's my rock rock. I'll put the light on it. You can see better. Okay. So I just want to get this a little bit toasty. Might take a little while for it to get a little toasty. I have a very, very minimal amount of salt of um, oil in here. I'm actually put some salt and pepper in here. Okay, so I'm put some pepper, put some salt. So this is going to be a very, very healthy dinner with chicken and black beans. And I have some cilantro that I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna keep toasting that up a little bit. And this is one whole head of cauliflower. Okay. Okay. Um, come and get me a cooker. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely, miss. See? Okay, let's try to over. Uh-oh, crazy Jordan, here she comes. Okay, so while that's cooking, I wanted to remind you guys that um, I still have some openings for virtual parties for March. If you want to do some virtual parties, let me know. I have some openings um, in April for an in-home shows um, and also virtual parties. So if you are ready for me to come into your house and cook you guys dinner or brunch or... Look at that. Do you see this child? Jordan, you're not eating chips right now. I'm making you dinner. Put it away. Who wants to... Miss, you coming? Go ahead. Take a child. Um, and then I have this lovely um, herb mill and the spatula. If you're a March host, you're going to get the double burner grill pan, the single burner though, for 60% off. You're going to get my new um, herb mill um, for 60% off. And there's a couple of the great um, March host stuff. I'll show you guys real fast while my cauliflower is browning up. This the bowls. See my bowls? You get that for 60% off. The salt and pepper shaker. My manual food prep, which I use today, you get that for 60% off. And I said the double, uh, the single burner grill pan, which has the oil spritzer that I just used and the tongs that I just used. So look, this whole meal you guys could get for 60% off and the brand new herb trays and the herb mill, which I love. So if you want to host a party in March, let me know. If you want to host a party in April, I don't have the April flyer up, but if you are a stoner, I want you. Because stoners, if you're a stoner, if you love your Pampered Chef stones, um, April is stoner month. For all, I'm gonna call it stoner month, that's just what I'm gonna call it. Um, you get a stone for 60% off. So if you never had a stone before, um, you need to host a party in April and, um, and get one of those bad boys for 60% off because it's truly, truly amazing. Um, also, I wanted to tell you, if you spend $75 in March, you get a free gift as well. You get my, which I love for like oils and stuff like that, and mayonnaise and sour cream and all that stuff. Jar opener, the mix and chop, the scrapers, or the measuring spoons. So you get 75% off. And um, I don't know if you noticed, I did have a new recruit that joined my team. Um, I think I have like three or four this month that actually joined my team. Um, and we are having so much fun, and they are earning some. Um, lovely extra income, which who doesn't like an extra income? And if you wanted to try out Pampered Chef, just try it for 30 days, see if you like it. Um, it's 50% off all of the kits, so you cannot go wrong at all. We will send you back a rebate um, for 50% of any kit that you choose. So come on, it's what such a good time. If you guys are looking to send save money or start earning money for um, summer vacation and stuff like that, then you definitely want to join my team in March. Um, and again, don't forget, I have a bridal registry going on. 
Um, if you are a bride, if you are a groom, if you are a mother of the bride and you want to set your daughter-in-law or daughter up with a wish list, her registry, we can now do that online. It's super easy, it's super fun, and she can get all that stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so while that's cooking, um, I'm gonna end my, I'm gonna take my, let's go see what it looks like, cause I'm gonna add my peppers and my onions next. I'm gonna add some garlic next. So let's see what it looks like, shall we? It should be getting a little, little brown. I want it to, oh yeah, see it's getting a little brown. I want it to be nice and toasty. I think I want it to be a little bit more toastier than that. My flame is on pretty high. But I definitely want it to be a little bit more toasty. Um, Cause I want it to be like rice. So I want it to have like a nice little um, texture to it. And I want it to have like a nice little crunch. But you can see that it's definitely changing colors. And it's getting nice and brown. It's awesome, I love that. Okay, so now when that's pretty much all cooked, we're gonna put our peppers and onions, we're gonna put some garlic in here, we're gonna put, we're gonna make that cook down for a little bit, I'm gonna add some chicken, I'm gonna add some tomato sauce, and I'm gonna kinda stew it for a little bit, just so I know that my chicken is nicely cooked. Um, and that's it, that's my party. So what are you guys making for dinner? Hi Ashley, tell me what you guys are making for dinner. Who's ordering in? Who, who's ordering food in? I don't wanna hear anyone ordering food in. Well, you can, I'm just eating you. But if you're ordering food in, let me know if it's like good German food because that I could totally get behind. Um, there's a really good restaurant on the other side of the island. Well, for me, it's the other side of the island. Norm Burgers on Castleton Avenue. You guys have to check it out. It's a lot of fun. It has a pub. Um, it's just really great. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, the beers are great. The food is just unbelievable. Um, I love it. So if you're gonna have German food, definitely go there. Um, the Funky Elephant, obviously on the other side of the island on Bay Street, um, they actually do like a paint night now, which is so much fun. Hi, my mom cooked tonight. She has the kids. <laughs> lucky! <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, so I think that's pretty much done. Let me get my bowl and we're gonna put the cauliflower back in here. I think it's done, it should be done, let's see. Um, chicken hot dogs on her grill. Ooh. Hey, Ashley, does she have the, um, the new grill, the, the new barbecue grilly thing? The indoor outdoor part of her grill? Because that thing is amazing. It actually looks really, really good. Nice and toasty. I like it. But I want to make sure it's a little, little toasty. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. This is brand new. Can everyone see that? That is is an indoor outdoor grill. It is amazing. It's so exciting because you could do electric or you could do charcoal and it's brand new. It just came out March 1st. I am super, super excited about that. Um, she has a multiple grill pan. I love that grill pan. That's awesome. Um, that thing, the, the indoor outdoor grill is just totally amazing. I'm so excited to do parties in March and April, um, actually April and May. Um, either outside or on the kitchen table like I had it the last time. Um, it's, oh my God, it's so exciting. I love the fact that everyone can kind of like get involved in the kitchen and cook their own foods. Um, totally, totally love that. I'm just taking out my cauliflower um, from my pan. I'll put you down so you can see. Okay, so my cauliflower is nicely browned or toasted, I guess you could call it. Because I, I want to toast it this way, it has like a nice flavor to it, rather than just like steamed up. Okay. okay. So now I have that. I'm actually going to add a little bit more oil to my pan because I'm going to add my peppers and my onions. So I'm just going to pump up my kitchen spritzer again. I'm just going to spray it all over again. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my peppers and my onions. Oh, so it's a beautiful sound. Okay. Thanks, Ashley. Be careful driving. You should be driving and watching at the same time, you crazy kid. Okay. So I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, what's everybody else making for dinner? I wanna hear, I wanna hear what everyone's making. I'm gonna put more pepper. I'm gonna put more salt. I'm 
And I'm just gonna cook this up for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna add my chicken. And my tomato sauce is already cooked. So when I add my tomato sauce in, it'll be, um, it'll be really, really quick to boil. So I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes. Uh, making breakfast for dinner, June. I totally love that. Wait, June, do you have this little boy? This is the brand new egg cooker that everyone has been going crazy about. Do you have this? This is going to change the way you make breakfast every single morning and everything else too because I have found so many amazing things to make in here. This is the brand new ceramic egg cooker. So you can make an omelet in here in one minute in your microwave. I made a poached egg. No, but it's on my list. Yes, make it on your list. Love it. Um, the poached egg took me, I think, about a minute as well. I made French toast in a minute. Um, I made a pizza in here. I made muffins in here. Um, I made so many things in here. People are still trying. I, I haven't done it yet, but um, I'm going to try and let you guys know how it comes out. Lasagna in here. So people are saying maybe either do like the, the easy bake noodles, like the quick noodles. Um, you know, like the, the oven ready noodles is the word I was actually looking for, um, or frozen raviolis, and then just kind of like layer it up, and it probably take, I wouldn't say take a minute, it'd probably take a little bit more than a minute, um, but that's going to be totally, totally amazing as well. Oatmeal, obviously, in here is totally great. I did steel cut oats the other day, and it came out beautiful. Um, regular oats, obviously, you could totally do. I want to try, and if somebody has a cooker at home, um, if you want to try it for me and let me know, I'm dying to see if it works with with, um, somebody wanted to know if it works with farina, and I didn't try farina yet. Um, I did not try um, cream of wheat either yet, and my both my kids love cream of wheat, and uh, I love farina. So if you have the egg cooker, let me know if you guys try that, and it actually worked, and let me know your ratios of dry to wet, because I feel like we're going to have to probably change that up a little bit so that um, it cooks evenly in one minute. So um, egg cooker is definitely become the number one seller. It was on back order. If you ordered your egg cooker through me, I have them. They're in the living room. Um, I'm dropping some off tomorrow. Um, I'm dropping some off on Monday, and some people are picking stuff up today. Um, actually, someone should be here in a little while to pick up their egg cooker. Maybe they'll come join us live, too. We'll see. Egg cooker. Love it. Okay, so let's check out our onions and our peppers. They are cooking up nicely. I just kind of want to sweat them down a little bit, which basically when I say sweat, it basically just means um, no color. So I just want to make them nice and soft. Um, just to go with my rice, I want them to have um, a little bit of flavor to them, but I want them to be nice and tender. And they don't really have to be caramelized. So when we caramelize something, we put color on them, and we kind of almost um, it makes the sugars that are in your food are going to caramelize your food. Um, I don't want to caramelize anything. I kind of just want to sweat them. So there's your little cooking term for the day. Sweat versus caramel, caramelize. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to add my garlic. Okay. Um, we all know how much I love my garlic press. It is definitely completely magical because you leave your whole entire peel on. So I'm going to put my whole garlic in here. And I'm just going to squish it all out. And I forgot my knife, so I'm just going to use this thing. Okay, so now if I turn it upside down, the only thing that is left is my, and I don't have my Barbie brush, but is the peel. Okay, how cool is that? Okay, so let's do another clover girl. Oh, I'm burning myself. My heat might be a little too high. Okay, I'm going to do another clover garlic so you can see. Okay, scrape that off. One more clove of garlic. See, look, just comes right out. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Just the peel is left. Totally magical. Okay, and another one. Okay, love it. Um, I do not suggest you get the garlic that's already cut up in the jars. If you look at the ingredients in there, there's formaldehyde in there, and it's just not not fun. Fresh garlic obviously just tastes so much better. And there's two different ones that we have. We sell. This one, um, yes, Miss, yes, please, sample, sample away. You know when you come here. And Pam, is Pam Tota watching? If Pam Tota's watching or if Carrie's watching, um, I don't know if they're watching, but um, Pam, if you come over to pick up the egg cooker, I'm going to feed you. See? 
See how amazing Carrie, if you're watching and you want to pick up your own egg cooker and not let Pam pick up your egg cooker, you can try some of my food too. It's fine by me. Okay, so now I have my onions in here. But there's two different types of garlic. Uh-oh, -uh, who's this? Hi! Hi, Missy! Look, I finally did it. Oh, I'm I so did proud of you. what Joe always wanted to do. Aw, say, say hi, Missy. I Woohoo! And I just read, I'm like, oh yeah, you can have my food, of course. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that, this is Missy. She's gonna be my sous chef for the day. It smells amazing. Oh, thanks, Miss. Okay, so now I have my that meal. I'm gonna add some chicken. Okay, so I have my chicken. I just seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. a very very healthy meal tonight chicken with cauliflower peppers onions garlic some tomato sauce some black beans um, obviously if you wanted to add any other ingredient you can but this is gonna be so beautiful if I had a red pepper I actually did have a red pepper I could have done one red and one white pe uh, red green pepper I mean and that would have been probably uh, good as well I'm just gonna bring my other stuff over, my beans, my sauce, my herb meal, which I love, my herb meal. Hi, Darla. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep cooking that up. Can you see? Okay. So I just want my chicken just to get um, a little bit browned or a little bit cooked, I should say, because it's gonna keep cooking. When I add the sauce and stuff like that in there, I'm gonna make it stew for a few minutes. Um, so I just wanted to have no, obviously, all white and no pink. So I know that it's at least cooked. Uh-oh, here comes the child. And um, I even use my fresh herb mill, which I love my herb mill. And it's so fun, because all you do is you put your whatever herbs you want right in here. And then you just kind of turn it, and all the herbs just come right out. So we're going to do this at the end. because. I'm making some chicken, some cauliflower, some black beans, some peppers. Gonna be delicious. What are you eating? My hubby would love the herb milk. Yeah. You want me to make couscous? Oh, I didn't know you want to make couscous. You love chicken, Ari. Well, you could have some chicken, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're almost all the way cooked with our chicken. I'm just gonna let it go a few more minutes. All the way. I'm gonna add my black oh, beans. Can I have something to drink? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Jordan, stop. Yeah. You're in need. Okay, so I have my black beans. I'm gonna add that. And this was two cans of black beans. I think I might need that. This is the four quart, by the way, rock crock. Um, I might need the eight quart rock rock actually. I might run out of room in this puppy. Okay. I'm gonna add my tomato sauce to this. Get out. Who has lipstick on? You. I have lipstick on? Yeah, oh my goodness. I'm going to add my cauliflower back in. Just like this. Might have a party? No, that's okay. 
today. This is my party right here. Okay, so I have that all set up. I'm going to keep layering my seasonings. I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. And now I'm going to add, from my herb mill, I'm going to add what you making. Hi, Jillian. I am making cauliflower rice, kind of. Toda. I mean, yeah, Toda. Toda. No, Ferrari. Well, Toda Ferrari. See, I got a little confused. Um, this is my cilantro. It's actually stuck. But I can smell my lovely cilantro. Where is it stuck? So I'm just going to give you a tip. If you have the herb mill, your herbs need to be dry. Make sure they're dry. If they're wet, they're going to stick. It's going to be a problem. Okay, so now I have... Can you, I don't know if you guys can see that it's coming out. It's, kind of, it's really, really thin. It's almost like a chiffonade. You know what a chiffonade is? Chiffonade is like a... Can you see? Okay, so now that's it. So now I have no more left. So I have my chicken, my black beans. I have tomato sauce. Um, cauliflower, cilantro, salt, pepper, garlic, onions, peppers, and I'm now, this is pretty much done. I'm just going to stew it just for a few minutes. I'm going to put the lid on and just cook it down for like five to ten minutes, and then that's it. We are going to have a very, very healthy, healthy dinner. Where's my lid? I see it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, that's my dinner. Show me a picture of your dinner. Let me know um, what you guys are making. Oh, when you're done with your, um, I'm gonna hurt them. Um, when you're done with your kitchen spritzer, you gotta remember to take the air back out. So you have to burp the bottles, we like to say. So now that my oil is ready for the next time I use it, which I love. So I fill it basically my own oil. There's a fill line up here. Um, and you just fill it with any type of oil that you want. And you just pump it and then you spray. And that's it. Okay, guys, that's my dinner. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my lovely meal for tonight. Um, uh oh, something's going on my phone. It muted itself or something. Um, again, it's doing it. All right, well, I'm just going to sign off because I don't want anything to happen. Look, there's my pantry that the mess, my kids love to leave stuff open. Um, have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. Please let me know if you want to have a party in April. I'm booking them up now. Um, April and May I'm working on right now. So if you want an April and May party, please let me know. Um, and we could totally have a great time. Thanks for joining. Share the video. Like it. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye. Say bye, Jill. Bye, Jill. Bye, Jill.